Hey, Artist Zavoli. Let's talk about noses. The thing about the nose is we all kind of have an idea what a nose looks like, but they don't look like this or like that. They look a little more like this. And let's talk about how you get from this, which is what most of us think of when we see it, say, draw a nose, all the way over to that. Okay, again, the way most people draw a symbol for a nose is to draw two lines down and then some nostrils, which might be circles or they might be something else, but they're usually pretty, pretty much just a diagram of where the nose is. It's not really a picture of one. If you notice here, there really aren't any lines. The nose isn't made of lines. It's made out of shapes and lights and shadows, just like everything else. Here's some examples of the kind of ways. I just went and looked at um, drawings on the internet to see how many different ways people draw their symbols for a nose. But these are all symbols that mean nose. These aren't pictures of noses. And that's the difference between all the stuff we've been trying to do this year is to learn how to get away from drawing symbols and actually drawing pictures of what's there. Go look in the mirror. Prove it to yourself. Do you have lines drawn on your face like this? Without a Sharpie, you probably don't. And your nostrils definitely aren't circles. In fact, most people have one quite a bit bigger than the other, and they're not usually even in size or shape or position. Take a look at these two. This is a really beautifully drawn portrait, and yet to get it to look like her, he had to make those two nostrils different sizes and shapes. For you to start getting a nose to look more like a three-dimensional object and less like the symbol for a nose, you only need two lines. I'm going to call that one the bottom bow, and then these are going to be the, the sides, the parentheses, if you will. So set up a sheet of paper like this. Just make yourself some guidelines and put little marks on them that will show you where you're going to do this. And on the top three, we're going to put a circular mark like this. And down on the bottom, we're going to put a wider one, a taller one, and then maybe one of a different shape. You choose your shape for that one. What these are is kind of that fleshy ball at the end of your nose. If you look back on this one, what we're doing is we're creating this area right here, which is the very front of your nose, where it's usually quite round. Now, after we've decided what shape the ball of the nose is going to be, let's put some nostrils on. You can put your parentheses here right in the center. You can put them high. That'll make someone with a longer point of your nose. You can put them low. That would be somebody with a shorter, more turned up nose. Some people have a much wider end on their nose. So make a football shape one and put those on the side there. You might experiment with making them taller or shorter too. Put them wherever you like on those three. And now just find the bottom line. Follow the bottom of your center circle thing and just stop. You notice that I'm stopping this before I meet up to the parenthesis line here. In real life, you don't have lines connecting the parts on your body, and we're going to try and make sure we show things like that. Do it to your other ones. Find the bottom line on all of them. Find the nostril line on all of them. When you put your parenthesis marks there, don't make them connect up now. You're going to be erasing all these lighter colored lines anyway. Just leave them out there hanging out there. It's okay. Next thing to do is just choose an area under the line. Put a little tone in there, a little mid to dark. And then to really give it depth, go really hard right up against the top in the back there where it gets deeper and things shade in. Look back at this girl whose picture we looked at at the very first right here. See what they've done here? The nostril is this area. But then they've gone really hard on the shadow back there where it's the deepest, darkest spot. And that only makes sense. So where we're going to leave this for now is we're going to get our, uh, our bottom line made. We're going to figure out where our nostrils are. We're going to get our, our side parentheses, if you will, the, the wings of the nose. And we're going to do that little bit of shading. And we're going to leave it right there. We'll pick this up again in the next class. Make sure you bring this, though. Keep this and bring it. All right. See you, everybody.